Hey there, today we are gonna be talking about how to build audiences correctly so you guys can start building uh, look-alike audiences to find uh, more potential clients in your area and to be able to not only fill that top of funnel, but we're gonna be filling the middle funnel um, of your advertising. And so we're gonna kinda of go over that. Now, I just wanna explain, for those of, that, those of you that don't know what a Facebook look-alike audience is, basically, what we're doing is we're uploading data to Facebook and saying, hey, Facebook, we want to find these people and Facebook finds them, matches their Facebook profiles. And then we say, analyze their website traffic and their characteristics. And we want to find people who are like them so that we can advertise to those other people as well. So basically, it's a strategy to be able to say, hey, you know, I've got a, uh, let's say I've got a list of um uh, let's do tax. We've got a list of tax people and all these people need to pay their, their taxes behind on taxes. They're going to have their home taken away. Uh, and I want to advertise to those people. So we're going to upload that. And then we're going to say, Hey, Facebook, find other people who are like those people as well that are on that list. And Facebook will do that. And then we'll find more people who are similar to them that maybe haven't made it to the list yet. So there's less competition on them and it'll be able to expand your reach and be able to get you more leads. Uh, that, and also get kind of jump start you and put in the middle of the funnel. Well, another way to do this is if you have been running ads in the past, like doing a post engagement campaign or a video views campaign, you can actually take your results from that, those campaigns. And let's say you had a video running you could say, I want to track 50% views. So I want to see people who watch 50% of my video. So if you had a minute long video, people who watched 30 seconds, which shows that people were pretty interested to stay on your your video for that long uh, because the average view tech typically is around three seconds. So to, ha to have someone 30 seconds means they're decently motivated. And so they, they watch it for 30 seconds and then we're able to say, okay, we're going to put them in an audience over here, but we also want people who look like them, who act like them, who are similar to them to be in a separate audience that we can advertise to because they're probably more motivated than um, other people because they're similar to those who watched half of our video. So that's kind of how you build these audiences and th that's kind of what you need to understand about them. So we're going to kind of show you how to do that inside the ads manager here. Um, if you go to your ads manager page to get to the audience building page, you will just have to click right here and you come down and click on audiences. Um, it may also be in the bottom if you haven't used it recently. Uh, it's just this little tab right here. So I've already got mine loaded up. And make sure you're in your right account. You can do that by checking right here on this side of the page. And I'm going to bring you back to the top. But what we are going to do is first, I'm going to walk through a couple different ways that you can upload audiences. First, I'm going to show you how to upload a list of yours that you have um, that you could use to, uh, you know, match people who are maybe on like a tax list, pre foreclosure, equity, whatnot. And then you can use that as a qualifier to find more lookalike audience or more people who are like that audience. Uh, with your special lookalike audiences. So to do that, first we're gonna hit create audience and we're gonna hit custom audience. That's gonna bring up this page right here. And you're gonna go ahead and hit customer list. Now we're gonna hit next and you're always gonna hit, you know, and this is for real estate investors or real estate agents, you're gonna hit no. Um, if you had like an e-commerce shop and you had value per customer for the, for those that you were uploading because they were past customers or something from your, um, let's say e-commerce store or they were from like a brick and mortar shop, uh, then you would want to use that value. But right now we don't need it. So we're going to hit no. We're going to hit next. And it's going to bring up this little spot where we can upload a file. So I'm just going to go in. I am going to grab my last file. Um, looks like it's this one. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to name this. I'm going to do it uh, CRM file. And you can name this obviously whatever you want uh, based on what you're, you're using it for. You're going to hit Next. And you're going to see, OK, this is the information that I have uh, already pre-mapped. Um, minimum amount needed is you need at least uh, first name, last name, city, state, or zip. So this list looks like that's what it has. So we're going to go ahead and do first name, 
last name, city, state. Pretty simple, guys. And then we already uploaded the zip. We can look at the map. It's got everything right there. And then you just hit upload and create. And this will go ahead and upload your audiences in there. And then we just hit done. Now what we've done is we just basically built um, a small audience in here. You can see it right here. Um, this is going to be matching. And so sometimes it'll show you the actual amount in there. Sometimes it won't. Um, but now we know that it's matching. But there's a couple other places that you can also build audiences. So I kind of want to show you guys how to do those other things as well. Um, we'll go back to building the lookalike audience here just in a sec. But we're going to do that inside the ads manager because since you're a real estate or a, uh, you know, you're in the real estate industry, like an investor or a realtor, you're going to want to use the special ad category and it's just easier to build inside the ads manager itself. So we're going to do it there. We're going to come here and we're going to hit custom audience and we can hit website. This would be anyone who's visited your pixel. So if you have your pixel on your website, you can go up to 180 days back. So this means anyone who's gone to your website. Now you got to make sure your pixel is placed correctly. If you haven't done that, you're going to watch, want to watch the video that's posted here. Um, that way you can go and watch our other video and see how we post uh, pixels. We work with a lot of carrot sites. So I use that as the example, but um, we've got a couple different spots that kind of just describe to you how to put that uh, tracking code into your header of your website. Uh, you can name this whatever you'd like, and then you just hit create. Uh, the other options we have are uh, videos. So you can actually select a video. So let's say we want people who watch 50% of our video. We're gonna come in here, we gotta select our page. We go Silver Street Marketing. We're gonna say who? Hey, we wanna see anyone who's watched 50% of our videos. And we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm and build that audience. Basically, we're going back 365 days and then we're just entering uh, the name of our audience. And then we have a bunch of 50% viewed audiences there. You can do any form of this you want and get multiple audiences. Um, I love being able to do that because I like retargeting my audiences this way too. So I can see which ones are probably more motivated than other ones, which one I want to put more money towards than uh, somebody else. Cause a 50% video view is a lot better than a three, a three second video view, right? If we've got a minute long video, they're a lot more motivated. So that's something that I want to keep in mind. The other option we have in here is we can do what's a Facebook page. So, or you could do an Instagram account, but this is basically engagement on your page. Uh, you can select engagement as granular as uh, sending you a message or, um, clicking on your call to action on your ad, but you can do it as broad as anyone who's engaged with your page at all. So anyone who's gone to the page, liked the page, looked at the page, looked at an ad, engaged on the ad, commented on the ad. So this is really nice because you can really go out to anyone who's engaged with you. So it's a really good lookalike option as well as a retargeting option. It's really, it's really a solid option to have. Um, we can also retarget or create lookalikes off of lead forms that have been filled out. Now, remember, you have to have about a thousand entries to really get some benefit from this. So I would wait until you have a thousand to 1500 entries of lead forms to be able to create a lookalike off of it, but you can create an audience right away to retarget. Um, but I would think the same if you're doing a video view, you want a thousand to 1500 people who have viewed that percentage of the video. So up to 50%. So you may want to run your video views campaign for a little long on the top of funnel to really get the effect that we're looking for. Same with website visits. We want to send enough people there to be able to make it worthwhile. So um, that, those are the main ones I like to use. The customer list really is going to be a, a huge one for you because it's going to connect all of your marketing together. So I definitely recommend starting off uploading any data that you already have on um, anything from tax, equity, probate, pre-foreclosure, any list that you've got. Uh, driving for dollars, even if you're skip tracing those, definitely want to upload something like this. All right, so now we're going to jump over and show you how uh, we can create the special ad um, lookalike inside the ad set. So we've got our campaign selected. I haven't published this one yet. Um, we're pulling up our example that we worked on the other day. 
and we're going to come down here. So we're inside the ad set level. We've already got our targeting in here, but we're want to put in our audience. So we're going to go over here to custom audience. Now, if I just wanted to send this ad to people who had engaged with me in the past or who had um, watched one of my videos in the past, like we were talking about, I could just, or like a list, I could just submit that. So, you know, we come in here and we could say, Hey, I just want to advertise to people who are on my CRM file. Just those people who matched there. And we could definitely do that. Now, if we wanted people who are like the people on our CRM file, we do something a little bit different. So we want to build that look alike because we want it a little bit bigger. So we want more people in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right um, here to create new and we're going to click special ad audience. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for a list that we want to use as our lookalike audience. So I'm just going to go ahead in here and we can just type in a custom list and we've got website 180. So some people who have gone to our website before. We're gonna go down here and we can select either a 1% or uh, it goes all the way up to 10%. I would suggest a 1% lookalike or a 3% lookalike. I've seen those are the best ones and you can even use both of them simultaneously. Use the 3% on the top of funnel and use the 1% lookalike on that middle funnel there. But these are the two that tend to be the best performers for me. If I'm going for leads, I wanna use the 1% lookalike generally Unless my audience is super small, um, then I may go for the three. What we're gonna do from there is you just go ahead and create audience and your audience will be created. Um, we've already got some lookalike audiences created, so I'm not gonna go ahead and push that button, but that's what you would do. And then you would have uh, your audience set. Now, don't forget to fill in your area or location. Um, all you, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't pop up, you just have to search it and it would be United States. So I'll just kind of show you here. So you go in here and just click United States and just select it. And then you'll be ready to publish. You can even make two audiences if you wanted to at the same time. Um, the way that this will work though, is it will say, we're only gonna make a 1%. And then if I selected like a 3% lookalike after that, it would say anything after a 1% to a 3% would be a separate audience. So I don't really like doing that. I make them separate so I can have the one through 3% inside the same audience and then the it's just, I kind of like that idea a little bit because it kind of gets as much motivation in there as possible, but it depends on your strategy and what you're using it for. So anyways, once you have that uploaded in there, um, you'll be able to select that here and you can just go ahead and use a special audience. Um, I've got one that we can select. So once you have that audience selected, uh, you can go ahead and start working on your ad uh, if you haven't already. Remember, manual placements, I like to do, um, depending on my strategy, I like to focus on the Facebook side versus the Instagram side, but make sure you test that on your own. Um, if I'm doing retargeting, I'd focus on the audience network, but that is what you can do from there. So if you want to use a custom list or a special ad audience, that's how you select it. Um, in this area, make sure you've got your area focused on. If you're doing just a custom list, without a lookalike. So let's say I am not doing the special ad audience anymore. I am just gonna do that custom list that I uploaded for my CRM. And I am actually going to take this off. And the reason why I'm gonna take my, tar my geographical region off is because I know that there's gonna be a lot more people um, that aren't just in Salt Lake that are probably on that file, like out of state owners, for example. Uh, there might be some out of state owners that own property in my area but they live somewhere else. So I still want them on there because I know that I'm sending them mail, I'm giving them calls or sending them texts. So I want them on here and um, I'll pro I'm just gonna do United States just so I have that kind of taken care of. But you don't have to, but that, that's what I would recommend. And then I come down here and my placements are already selected. Um, again, this was a post engagement campaign we were training on the other day. So we can go ahead and click through. Uh, this can work with any campaign style you want, any objective you want. I definitely recommend using it for middle funnel like uh, conversions or lead generation, um, as well as using the actual list at the bottom of the funnel for retargeting. So those are some things that you guys can do with those custom audiences. If you have any questions, make sure that you guys reach out. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we've got a lot of videos that we launch all the time. We want to make sure that we're of value to you. So comment, let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any questions and we can make some specific trainings for you and we just want to be of value. So uh, make sure you subscribe 
and uh, we will see you on the next videos. All right.